morning guys, welcome to RTRC. I am at the field today. I have got the Freewing Yak 130. It's the 70 millimeter EDF version that is sold by Motion RC out of Europe. And it is a beautiful, beautiful model. Now, as expected with everything that comes from Freewing, this model is well engineered, it's well thought out, everything plugs together as expected. Um, it is a slightly older generation model, and something you've seen on the newer models is that they don't use glue anywhere, it just screws everywhere. And in this case, I did have to use a tiny bit of glue to glue the tailplane on. It's hardly a problem, is it? Um, now, in terms of setup, I'm running this with my jetty system. I have put an Eagle A3 gyro super into it. It's the type which has the whole control panel for configuring it. I've squeezed that in there quite happily and I'm running it on a 6S LiPo and I believe, yes, it's a 3000 milliamp 6S LiPo, which should give it pretty sprightly performance. And um, well, all up, I think it's gonna be great. And I think the next step is to get this thing airborne and see if it actually flies. Well, that was a relatively successful maiden. Um, I got up in the air, I put it down and I didn't break it. Now, initial observations, 
it's quite sensitive in the roll. I'm not sure if that's just because my brain is still flying the previous model, which is a lot more gentle in the roll, but this really, it took me the first half of that flight just to get a sense of how quickly it rolls. Maybe a little bit of rate tuning will help that. What did come as a surprise, but actually shouldn't have, the rudder on this aircraft is enormous, absolutely enormous. And um, I went in to apply some rudder and it's amazing just how much roll you get. You know, you, you pop your rudder on and the aircraft just starts to roll. It, it really took me by surprise. So that's something, it probably actually needs a little bit of aileron mixed in in reverse to the roll. And if I get the time, I'll sit down and mix it in. So when I do apply some rudder, it kind of counters the, the, the roll effect that that massive rudder gives it. Not a big issue, it's something you just got to get used to. But um, for a first flight, I'm quite impressed. Um, I, you know, I, I've got to be honest, I don't know how many more of these models actually exist on the market at this point in time. Um, they've been around a while, and I suspect we might be seeing the last few being available on Motion RC at this point. But what a lovely, lovely aircraft. I'm quite chuffed I got one, and I'm going to enjoy flying it. Cheers, guys.